Hey guys, um, so Leanne Trooper here. Uh, so we want to totally agree with you, Emily, about the seasons of writing, seasons of creativity. I think that um, there is a definite element of, of cyclical nature to um, my, my work. Um, there are times when I want to be writing, there are times when I'd rather be editing. Um, this year I'm really forcing myself to focus on the writing piece of it so that I develop that habit. Um, but I would really like to be working toward being able to allow myself to feel those cycles and, and feel what is it that I'm supposed to be doing at any given time um, to address all the different elements of being a writer. Particularly, Alex, submissions, because that is something that I have very much put by the wayside. Um, I want to be doing it. I talk about doing it. I encourage other people to do it all the time. And I very rarely submit anything myself. Um, not so much because I'm afraid of rejection, because I, it doesn't really bother me that much to get rejection letters. Um, I, I think maybe because I assume that's what's going to happen. Um, but it takes so much time. It takes time to find where to submit and to research them and to make sure that they are suitable for what I want to submit. And because um, I don't want to waste anybody's time by sending them stuff that's clearly not right for them. Um, and it's, I particularly find it difficult because I don't know how to categorize my own work. Um, and, and I think it's because it falls in like this kind of weird no man's land contemporary literature, which to me basically feels like well, it doesn't belong anywhere else, so that's what it is. Um, and so, I don't know, I'm always trying to find places. But then, once you know where you're going to submit, it takes time to get everything formatted and to write your cover letter, and there's just so much that goes into it that it takes away from, like, it completely takes me out of writing in any, in any way. Um, and right now, in d trying to develop my habit of writing, um, Anything that takes me away from that is is on the back burner. Um, I also wanted to quickly address the Brene Brown discussion that that um, we were having via Facebook uh, because of the quote that you used, Alex. Um, I love Brene Brown. Anything that I've read of hers or listened to of hers has been amazing to the point of I have to listen to it over and over again and take notes on it and, and I become obsessive about it. and. I've had to not list, not read any of her stuff because, back burner, it takes me away from actually writing because I get so um, excited about about all the possibilities and everything I could be doing. Oh, Trooper wants to go. Um, anyway, ooh, anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's what I wanted to say. And, um, oh, I wanted to ask a quick question. So what is it that you call yourself? Um, it's taken me a really long time to get comfortable with saying I am a writer when um, people ask me what do I do and I still sometimes default to nothing uh, rather than admit that I'm a writer and open myself up to all those follow-up questions. Um, so what do you call yourself and what's your reasoning behind it I guess is what I'm curious about. Um, thanks so much. Talk to you later guys.